Connecting from on-premises to Azure is a significant part of Exam 70-534, so let's take a look at your connectivity options and when and where you should use them. In this lesson, we'll look at point-to-site, or P2S, and site-to-site, or S2S, VPN connections. We'll also review ExpressRoute, Microsoft's private connection to Azure. We'll also consider the benefits and drawbacks of each of these connectivity options, and discuss scenarios where each is appropriate. Point-to-site, or P2S, VPN connections are designed to connect individual workstations or clients to an Azure virtual network. For example, if you have an employee who works from home or is on the road, it makes sense for her to use point-to-site VPN connections. Or, if you have a small group of employees at a remote office which has very light needs to connect to Azure, then using point-to-site connections for those workstations might be the best option. Or, if you have a handful of developers who need to work on your Azure virtual machines and cloud services, then point-to-site connections for them are sensible. In short, point-to-site connections are best when connectivity isn't critical, the workload is light, and only a few workstations need to make the connection. There are some real benefits in a point-to-site connection versus a site-to-site connection or express route. PTS connections don't require a VPN device or a public IP address within your network. These connections are certificate-based, so securing them is as straightforward as issuing a certificate or revoking it. And because these are self-signed certificates or certs attached to your own authority, there's real, no real cost overhead. P2S connections can be run alongside a site-to-site VPN, and in theory, you can use P2S connections to connect to several different vir Azure virtual networks. There are also several drawbacks to P2S VPNs. They only work for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1, all of those 64-bit, for Windows 10, and for Windows Server 2008 R2, Windows Server 2012, and Windows Server 2012 R2, 64-bit. Throughput is limited to 100 megabits per second and is likely to be lower since traffic is sent through the public internet via SSTP, an encryption scheme that incurs some overhead. You can only connect to virtual machines and cloud services, and each P2S VPN gateway is limited to 128 clients. If a client needs to restart, a P2S connection is not re-established automatically, making this a really poor choice for any kind of automated system. While it's possible to use P2S to connect to multiple virtual networks, as a practical matter it's difficult to do, because your address prefixes and subnet addresses need to be unique between those two networks. And you must use dynamic or route-based routing, static or policy-based VPN gateways, are not supported. Site-to-site -site or S2S VPNs are designed to connect a local network to an Azure virtual network. It uses a virtual private networking device to connect to Azure. Site-to-site -site VPNs are appropriate when you have small groups of people on the same network who need to connect. For example, if your whole development team is located in one office and needs to connect, a site-to-site -site VPN makes sense. The same would be true of connecting everyone in a remote office. Or, if you have a workload that doesn't need a lot of bandwidth, strong data security, and they can tolerate some latency, an S2S VPN makes sense. Site-to-site -site VPNs can support just about any client operating system that can connect to the local network. The VPN device provides a single point of configuration and management for all the connected clients, making things easier to operate and if you can use both dynamic and static routing. Unlike P2S VPNs, site-to-site -site VPNs persist their connections, so clients can automatically reconnect to Azure after a restart. Site-to-site -site VPNs do have some drawbacks. Your local network must have a public IP address that is not allocated via network address translation, or NAT. Uh, you also need a compatible VPN device. Not every appliance will work. The throughput is limited to 100 megabits per second, and again, you're likely to see slower throughput since the connection takes place over the public internet, and in this case is secured by IPsec, which also incurs some overhead. You can only access virtual machines and cloud services with an S2S connection, and depending on the VPN gateway SKU you select, you're limited to 10 or 30 IPsec tunnels. 
Express route is the on-premises to Azure connection monster. It is a private, dedicated connection to Azure at the network level or layer three. As a result, it is highly configurable and very secure. You can access pretty much any service in Azure with it, and it has considerably faster throughput and lower latency than site-to-site -site or point-to-site -site VPN connections. Express Route is the right choice when you need speed, low latency, reliability, and to connect to more than one data center. Express Route has extremely high throughput and very low latency. Throughput limits range from 500 megabits per second to 10,000 megabits per second, depending on your gateway. Because this is a dedicated connection with built-in redundancy, it's highly available and very flexible. Using the ExpressRoute Premium add-on, you can use one ExpressRoute connection to connect to any data center globally. Since data is not sent over the public internet, ExpressRoute connections are inherently more secure than P2S or S2S VPNs. And ExpressRoute supports three kinds of peering, private, public, and Microsoft. That means an ExpressRoute connection can reach pretty much any Azure service, whether or not it's publicly addressable, and you can connect to Microsoft software as a service offerings, such as Business Intelligence and Office 365. There are a few drawbacks to ExpressRoute. First, it's not available in every region, nor every locality. ExpressRoute connections are actually handled by partner companies, so it may be difficult for certain users to make such connections. And as you would expect, ExpressRoute comes at a fairly high price considered against the low cost of P2S and S2S VPNs. Before leaving this lesson, we should consider the VPN gateway service tiers and their costs. While P2S and S2S VPNs are actually free, the VPN gateways through which they are routed are not. There are four VPN gateway service tiers, or SKUs as they are called in Azure Resource Manager lingo. Basic, Standard, and High Performance are available for P2S, S2S, and ExpressRoute connections. Ultra Performance is available for ExpressRoute connections. Here's a table that shows the limits for each of the VPN gateway SKUs. You'll want to familiarize yourself with these limits as they will probably figure in to which kind of VPN you choose when answering a 70-534 case study. Again, Remember that Ultra Performance VPN gateways apply only to ExpressRoute connections, but these gateways can coexist with P2S or S2S VPN gateways too. After you familiarize yourself with this slide, you've completed this module. Let's wrap up and move on to the next lesson.